All right, well, maybe it's still uh, hot outside, right? It yeah. still really Plenty. is hot outside. <laughs> but deer season is right around the corner here in Arkansas. And this year, there are even more options for hunters to get their deer tested for chronic wasting disease, CWD, something we've been talking about for a long time. Trey Reed with Arkansas Game of Fish joins us. This is a problem because this thing, oh, you were just talking to me about this is a, 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 an issue that can last for, for a long yeah, time. Yeah, in, in the environment, a chronic wasting disease uh, has, has been demonstrated to, to you know, persist for, for decades. Unbelievable. Uh, and so, you know, you can't really, uh, you know, Wisconsin in the early 2000s when they found it approached it by trying to eradicate the deer herd in that area, well, it didn't work because the uh, infectious agent, this, this prion, this mm -hmm. uh, protein that causes it, was, was still still around. Right, so, it's still in the grass, still in the yeah, environment. Yeah, it, can, it can, can persist in the environment for a long time. So, uh, you know, we this is our fourth deer season, Rob, in Arkansas that, that we've, since, since detecting it here in the natural state in 2016, um, Still, primarily, the Newton County is, is sort, of, sort of ground zero for it up in north central Arkansas, just north of Jasper. But as you radiate out from that, it, it's less prevalent. But we have had some cases pop up uh, in neighboring states. Just right. this week, Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency announced a positive deer uh, a little bit north of Memphis. Right. Uh, so right there on the Mississippi River, not f just across the border from us. We want to collect as much data as possible at Game and Fish, and uh, we want to give hunters the option to have their deer tested. And you know, we're not a public health organization, so we rely on the health department and the Centers for Disease Control, which recommends if you hunt in an area where you know CWD to be present, to have the deer tested. And if it's positive, don't consume the meat from that animal. Right. So we've got 130 testing locations for hunters around the state this year. Really ramped up our testing efforts. Uh, we've got a network of participating taxidermists. Uh, every Game and Fish regional office Office, even our headquarters over here in West Little Rock, we're going to have you know uh, access to testing there. Uh, and uh, there's there's some drop-off freezers where you can bring the head of a deer with about six inches of the neck, so we can uh, pull a good sample from that. The way we've got it figured, Rob, there shouldn't be a, a deer hunter in anywhere in Arkansas from from Lake Village to uh, to Gravit, from uh, you know Blytheville to Texarkana, who's going to be more than 30 minutes from one of these testing locations. They need to drop it off. What is it? the danger though if you do eat some of this deer meat and it's CWD? Well the thing about it Rob, there's never been a, a case of CWD found in humans. Nobody's been known to contract CWD from eating uh, a, a deer that was that was positive for chronic wasting disease. You know, again, that said, there's been some studies done with some other primates mm -hmm. and, and the Centers for Disease Control again says, you know, recommends not to eat animal from uh, meat from an animal that right. you know has tested positive. So it's really an abundance of caution more than gotcha. anything else. Uh, important to know that it's been on the landscape for a long time. You know, mm -hmm. it was first detected in Colorado in 1967. Yeah. Uh, and so, you know, Again, over 50 years, and, and no humans ever gotten CWD. But uh, knock on just, some wood. Find yeah. some wood. And knock on it really hard, right, right quick. All right, well, we appreciate the the uh, information. For more information, if they have any questions, we're going to. Yeah, get the out. best thing is go to agfc.com/cwd. You can learn all about CWD in Arkansas there, as well as there's a map with every one of those testing locations. You click on one of those dots, it'll tell you the hours that it's open, and give you an address, so you can get right to it. Good deal. Appreciate that, Trey. As you always, bet, Amanda, inside to you.